it's seven in the morning and I wake up to my alarm on my phone to go to school and my bed sheets are warm you know my room is cold I know that if I stay in my bed for an extra 10 or 20 minutes I might miss out on my meditation session or I might be you know late for school or whatever so I just be like okay I'm I'm just gonna get out of bed I'm gonna stop being a bitch I'm gonna get out of my bed I'm gonna start my day the first thing I do is I go ahead to my bathroom as you could see my bathroom is right there you see the toilet and everything take a shit then I stand on the scale 140 pounds okay I go brush my teeth I wash my face I do my hygiene I take a cold shower this is all before school starts. It's 7.30 now. I meditate. I journal. I go outside and get some sunlight. Now it's off to school. I go to school. I do my thing. I come home. It's 4 o'clock. 4 p.m. Then I go to the gym. Now it's 6 p.m. Then I eat. Then I clean. It's 7.30 p.m. My bedtime is at 9.30 p.m. I have like two hours. From 7.30 to 9.30 or 6.30 to 9.30 or 6 to 10 or however. It depends on the day. I have like three hours of free time. And I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to do drop shipping. I want to help my dad with his business. You know, I want to read. I want to do all of this stuff. But I only have three hours. So why would I go ahead and spend 30 minutes jacking off, looking for the best porn video. Why would I spend an hour and a half playing video games? You know, I have three hours that I could sit in my room and do whatever I want. Why would I choose to waste my time when I could be working on YouTube, when I could be helping my dad get business, when I could be helping my family gain wealth, when I could be doing some productive shit? But now, it's summer. Now I don't have school. Now I go to the gym twice a week and I used to do it every day and the reason why I switched is because of high intensity training it's a new routine so I'm not like being a Jeffrey right here you know I'm not being like oh, okay I'm gonna go to the gym less because my mental health and I'm depressed blah 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 no it's just for um one set per muscle group per week type stuff so that's my excuse I'm going to the gym for about four hours per week I have no school and I get eight hours of sleep, so what? That's like fucking 10 hours of free time. You know, after I clean the kitchen, after I clean my room, after I do all of my daily habits, I have like 10 hours compared to three hours. I have an extra six hours. I literally tripled my free time. So now I have... I'm jacking off more, playing video games more, going on my phone more, wasting more time. But that's because... I never learned to be bored. That's the title of this video. Learn to be bored. If you sticked around for the 13 minutes and 15 seconds, or if you stuck around for the first three minutes after that long intro, you're, you're actually here to learn. You're actually here to like sp hear me speak wisdom into your head. Like you're not those fucking weirdo kids that rely on fucking edits every two seconds and transition and music and subtitles and captions and B-roll footage. So that I could keep your attention on YouTube. If you watch this far, I know you're serious. So, now, when I have free time, and I'm finished with my morning routine, instead of working on my YouTube channel, and growing on my business, and getting that money, I'm calling up my cousin Jonathan. I'm calling up my, my cousin Alex. I'm literally downloading Discord and asking my friends if they di if they want to hop on a video game, if they want to play Fortnite or Rainbow Six Siege or whatever. I haven't like when school was starting or when school was when I had school I never played video games. I couldn't afford to play video games. But now I can. Or well, I still can't afford to waste time, but I still do, and that's because I literally have 10 hours. If my main goal is YouTube channel, 
if my main target is to grow this audience on YouTube, how can I spend 10 hours a day growing an audience on YouTube? There's nothing more that I could do besides script videos, record videos, edit videos, upload on TikTok. Besides that, how else can I work for 10 hours a day? I don't understand how people say, I work for 16 hours a day. How can you work for 16 hours a day? There's like three tasks that I need to do for YouTube, record, edit, upload, and that's it. That's my excuse. That's why I so easily indulge into instant gratification. You know, I used to be a dropshipper, and this is very relevant to the story. The story I'm about to tell is very relevant to this uh, video topic. I used to be a dropshipper, and the main product that I'm, I used to make money with is this right here. It's called a phone lockbox. As you could see, you could turn it on like this. And it has a timer and you can set it for like five minutes or an hour. It's kind of, it's mirrored, so you can't really read that, but it says a minute and five or an hour and five minutes on. And you press the side button here, it opens up. You could put your phone in and um, there's like a little space at the back where you could answer calls and music and stuff. And what I would do is I would record myself on my iPhone I record myself, yeah, I record myself on this phone, get my dad's phone, and record myself on my bed. I'll show you right here. I'm on my bed, and I'm scrolling through TikTok, but I'm filming myself scrolling through TikTok so I can make that uh, TikTok video, and I could blow up my Shopify store, and I could become a millionaire or some shit like that. So my whole agenda, my whole marketing plan was to show people they're wasting time on on TikTok. They're wasting time on video games. Buy this product, lock up your phone, and be productive. This was eight months ago. This product made me $200 in less than a week. But I stopped dropshipping because I didn't really like the process. I like YouTube way better. But now, eight months later, I'm the I'm literally acting like the guy I was making fun of in my TikTok videos. So I've been going backwards and that's because I don't know how I don't I don't know what to do when I'm bored but being bored is extremely crucial guys let's let's talk about fapping for a second no fap you don't jack off or you don't relapse on no fap when you're horny you just relapse on no fap when you're bored and there's nothing to do and you know you got an erection you could easily type five things in your fucking keyboard and have porn on your screen you don't relapse because you're horny. You relapse because you're bored. And the moment, like, um, I was, like, a while back, I had, like, a two-month no-fab streak. I haven't jacked off in, like, 60 days, some crazy shit like that. And that was because the entire time I was just busy with dropshipping, busy with YouTube. I was busy with shit, right? I had no time to even think about it. It was always next, next, next. But when you're bored, you, t you try and convince yourself There is nothing to do. What else could I do besides edit, record, upload? But guys, there's always something to do. There's always something to do. There's always a book to read. There's always something that needs to be cleaned in the house. There's always people to talk to. There's always nature to explore. Guys, you got to think about it like this. Like we're all like two inside of our own heads here. You wake up in the morning. And the first thing that you think about, at least for me, the first thing I thought about when I was at my lowest point was video games and porn and junk food and shit like that. Useless bullshit like that. We are on this planet, guys. If you're not waking up excited and happy to explore the mysterious adventures that the, the earth has to give you, then you're just living in a, a, fucking, a fucking fairy tale, bro. Another point I want to make. You cannot have instant gratification and delayed gratification at the same time. You can't just go on your phone for two hours and go through TikTok and jack off and then expect to work on your business the same day. You think about it like this, if you're on your phone and you're scrolling through TikTok, every swipe is a video that's like super overstimulating. And then you're expecting to get off a of TikTok and all of a sudden you're working on your business and you're being productive? Fuck no. It's so much easier to just go on TikTok. You have to choose one. You can't jack off every day and also become a millionaire. It's so hard. It's so hard. We do not have 
as much mental strength as we think we do. We think we're so disciplined because we go to the gym and we take cold showers sometimes and, you know, we're meditating, we're journaling, we're so disciplined, but we're only doing that because we're motivated to do that. When was the last time you were going through TikTok and you, ah, man, the videos are just so good, man. Like, it's so overstimulating. You have the fucking edits, you have the anime shit, you have the fucking Fortnite clips, you have the fucking, I don't know, that's my for you page about whatever, but, um, like, you... When was the, ah, fuck, I can't remember the last time that I was going through TikTok and I was having a good time just looking at these stupid ass videos and then I just forced myself to get off the app and then work on my YouTube and take a cold shower and go get some push-ups done. It's impossible. You have to choose one. You can't have instant gratification and delayed gratification in the same day because you will always choose instant gratification. Trust me. You cannot. You can't, you can't expect to look at porn for 30 minutes and edge yourself and then jack off and then go straight to fucking making a YouTube video. Because now your dopamine receptors are overstimulated and then you can't go back because the boring shit's on YouTube. So that's, what, that's why people talk about dopamine detox. Because when you're bored, you don't go to the overstimulating instant gratification. You don't go to the video games or the social media or the porn. When you're bored, you just sit in your room and you fucking stare at a wall. Like guys, that's more productive. Staring at your wall is more staring at your wall and thinking and journaling to yourself is more productive than fucking watching porn and playing video games. You could either have two options. This is how you be productive all day, bro. You have two options. You could either do work or you could do nothing. Both of them are productive. And when I say do work, I'm not talking about hustle culture and fucking work 18 hours a day and get two hours of sleep. No, doing work is progressing in your goals. Doing work is meditating. Doing work is journaling, going to the gym, uploading YouTube videos, whatever. Like if you're a dropshipper, doing work is dropshipping stuff, whatever. But besides that, you could also take cold showers, spend time with family, go out in nature. Doing work is anything that makes you a better person, like progresses you towards your goals. You could either do work or you could do nothing. And doing nothing is just literally not, oh, I'm relaxing, so I'm going on Instagram and I'm watching Netflix, I'm doing nothing. You're doing something. Doing nothing is literally just sitting on your bed, in your room, and staring at your wall. And then maybe a little notepad and a pen to journal your thoughts. But if you if you choose, either I'm, today, I'm either going to progress or I'm going to do nothing. And then now you're just productive, right? Because what else are you going to do? Are you seriously going to let that small urge to jack off ruin your entire fucking day? Because once you jacked off already today, your your dopamine receptors are still overstim... Your dopamine receptors are already overstimulated. So you can't just expect to turn around and work on your fucking business. You have to learn to be bored. You have to learn to be bored. And the only way to do that isn't to keep watching these fucking YouTube videos, is to literally stare at your fucking wall. One moment. All right, let me get into my last point. There are two types of people who have a social media addiction. And when I say social media addiction, I mean like you're genuinely every moment of your day that you have free time is literally just spent on your phone doing something. Like if you're brushing your teeth, might as well watch TikTok while you're brushing. If you're eating, might as well go on YouTube while you're eating. If you're laying down in your bed trying to relax and recover from whatever the fuck you were trying to do the other time, going through TikTok, laying down and going through TikTok. If you're in your bed about to sleep going through TikTok, that's literally a social media addiction. Of course it is. So there are two types of people who have those. The first type of person is the person who's kind of delusional. 10 hour screen time, Netflix, TikTok all day, video games. And he doesn't really like care. He doesn't really uh, feel guilty afterwards. He doesn't feel ashamed. He doesn't feel like, fuck, I did nothing today. Fuck, I spent 10 hours on my phone today. Because it's normal to him. The second type of person also has 10 hour screen time. But afterwards, he feels like fucking shit. He wants to cut that down to like two hours. They, they both do the same thing. It's just a different mentality. That's what I'm saying. You cannot get off of self-improvement because you, you're never going to look at video games the same ever again.
like when you play video games after you're done you know playing video games could be fun and all if you're with your friends and your family whatever but afterward your friends are gonna be like you know that was a good session i can't wait for tomorrow afterward i'm all like fuck i shouldn't have done that i should just work on my youtube channel i should have learned how to speak spanish i should have learned how to do all of this shit that i need to do that's why you can never get off of self-improvement you're never gonna look at jacking off the same again you're never gonna look at porn again like when you were younger you could jack off no problem bro you would not have any post no clarity you would not have any shame after jacking off because you were young you didn't know what the fuck you were doing but now you feel horrible afterwards you feel like a fucking gremlin this is marcus blake and if you enjoyed this video i highly recommend this video right here instant gratification isn't even worth it i'll catch y'all boys later